It's Umsum time! What if we lived with a snake? Cool! Umsum loves snakes! <laughs> oh, Umsum. Firstly, snakes hiss a lot. If we lived with a snake, even we may huh? start hissing a lot. Hmm. Secondly, snakes can shed their skin. If we lived with a snake, even we may learn how to shed our skin. Hmm. Thirdly, snakes slither. If we lived with a snake, huh? even we may start slithering. Hmm. Fourthly, some snakes are extremely poisonous. If we lived with a snake, some people may always stay inside huh? a protective suit. Hmm. Lastly, snakes can fit inside extremely tight places. If we lived with a snake, even huh? we may start staying in extremely tight places. Hmm. What if we had two heads, snake-like and human-like? Cool. I love snakes. Oh, I'm some. Firstly, if we also add a snake-like head, our snake-like head may keep on hissing all night long. Secondly, if we also add a snake-like head, our snake-like head may keep on shedding its skin. We may not be so lucky in that regard. Thirdly, if we also add a snake-like head, people with a phidiophobia, as in fear of snakes, may never open their eyes anymore. Fourthly, if we also add a snake-like head, Eagles and mongoose, huh? the natural enemies of snakes, might start attacking us. Mm. Fifthly, <laughs> if we also add a snake-like huh? head, <laughs> villains may start running away from us. Mm. Lastly, if we also add a snake-like head, even aliens may try to grow <laughs> one more head. Results might prove to be hilarious. <laughs> mm. What if we had a snake-like body? No ways! Umsum is smarter than a snake! Oh, Umsum. Firstly, snakes shed their skin regularly. If we had a snake-like body, we may start seeing old skins lying around everywhere. Hmm. Secondly, if we had a snake-like body, marathon runners may give up. Hmm. Thirdly, if we had a snake-like body, Eagles and mongoose, the natural enemies of snakes, might start attacking us. Fourthly, if we had a snake-like body, even aliens may try to become snake-like. Results might prove to be hilarious. Fifthly, if we had a snake-like body, traffic cops may not be able to manage the situation anymore. Hmm. Lastly, if we had a snake-like body, shoes would not be of much use to us anymore. Hmm. How does a snake move? Simple. It moves like the famous Umsum. Oh, Umsum. Snakes display up to four different types of movements. Firstly, serpentine locomotion. In this type of movement, the snake moves in the form of a sinusoidal wave. Secondly, concertina or accordion locomotion. In this type of movement, the body of the snake contracts and expands successively like an accordion or a spring. Thirdly, lateral displacement or side-winding locomotion. In this type of movement, the snake moves laterally by forming vertical waves. In this way, it minimizes contact with the surface. This type of movement is typical of snake species found in desert areas. Fourthly, rectilinear locomotion. In this type of movement, the snake crawls in a straight line with its body stretched. This type of movement is commonly found among larger snakes as it allows them to access narrow burrows of their potential prey. Hmm. Huh? What if all snakes disappeared? Then I will become a snake and scare everybody. Oh, I'm some. Firstly, snakes primarily snack on mice or rats. With all snakes gone, oh. mice or rats will have a gala time. Musophobia, as in fear of mice or rats, might set in. Mm. Secondly, venom from snakes plays a very important role in the development of medicines. 
They've been used in the treatment of heart attacks as well as blood disorders. With no more snakes, medical research might suffer a lot. Thirdly, animals like mongoose, eagles, and hawks will really miss snakes. This is because they are known to kill and eat them. Fourthly, many iconic Hollywood films like Anaconda, Harry Potter series, etc. have snakes playing important roles. With no snakes, Hollywood scriptwriters might face tough times. Lastly, people with ophidiophobia, as in fear of snakes, will have nothing to worry about anymore. <laughs> Why do snakes have forked tongue? Just for fashion! No. Even though snakes have noses, they smell odors of their prey, ah. mate, or surroundings with the help of their tongue and vomeronasal organ. Each time a snake flicks its tongue in air, it collects odor particles. Then, when the tongue is brought back, the particles are transferred to the vomeronasal organ. This organ detects the odors and sends signals to the brain, helping the snake smell. Wow, that's interesting! Now, we know that when we see with our two separate eyes, our brain combines the two different perspectives and makes a detailed image of our surrounding. Similarly, because the tongue of a snake is forked, it collects odor particles from two different locations, helping the snake understand in which direction oh. the odor is coming from and thus making it easier to locate the prey. Hmm. Why do snakes shed their skin? Wait. I'll explain. When a snake grows, its outer skin layer called epidermis does not grow or get bigger with it. Hence, the snake sheds its epidermis periodically to allow further growth of its body. In addition to this, shedding also helps remove parasites present on the epidermis. So does the snake buy a new skin? No. First listen. Before shedding, the snake grows a new epidermis beneath the old one and secretes a fluid between the old and new epidermis. This fluid helps separate the old epidermis from the new one. Once this is done, the process of shedding begins. To remove the old epidermis, the snake rubs its head against any hard surface, creating a tear either near mouth or near nose area. Then, it drags and wriggles its body against any hard surface and slowly slithers out of the old epidermis. Hmm. Snake versus mongoose. Who wins? I, me, and myself. All right. A snake, especially a cobra, is a tasty meal for the mongoose. So, it fights to kill, while the cobra fights to defend itself. When the cobra strikes, the mongoose's lightning speed helps it dodge the strikes, causing the cobra to miss repeatedly. But what if the cobra succeeds in striking? Toxins in the snake's venom attach to the acetylcholine receptors, blocking communication between nerves and muscles, ultimately causing death. However, in mongoose, these receptors are mutated or shaped differently. The toxin cannot attach to the receptors, making venom ineffective. Eventually, when the cobra gets exhausted, the mongoose snaps with its sharp teeth, killing the cobra and winning the battle. Mostly, between the cobra and mongoose, mongoose wins. However, if the snake is a viper or boa constrictor, then the mongoose can be killed.